understand that, but I, I, in all fairness, I, I had no idea, which probably sounds difficult to understand here. Meghan Markle is an American member of the British royal family. She's a former actress and model who's now married to Prince Harry. Moreover, Meghan is also well known for being a great philanthropist and humanitarian. After Meghan married Harry, she became a princess of the UK and received the title of Baroness Kilkeel, Countess of Dumbarton, and Duchess of Sussex. It's worth mentioning that Prince Harry and Meghan announced that in January 2020, they wanted to step away from royal duties and seek financial independence. Eventually, an agreement was signed that allowed the couple to leave England and seek financial independence. However, Meghan and Harry cannot now use titles Her Royal Highness and His Royal Highness. My now husband, my friends were really happy because I was so happy, but my British friend said to me, I'm sure he's great. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. Her full name is Rachel Meghan Markle, but is also known as Flower, Duchess of Sussex, M&M, M.M., Meg, Nutmeg. She was born August 4th, 1981 in California, making her 39 at the time of this production. She stands at 5 feet 7 inches tall, or 1.71 meters. Back in 2018, she was included in Time's list of the 100 most influential people in the world. British Vogue has also listed Meghan among the most influential women in the UK. In 2014, she spoke at the summit for One Young World in Dublin. During the same year, she also toured Spain and Afghanistan with the United Service Organizations. Then in 2016, this former actress became a global ambassador for World Vision Canada and traveled to Rwanda for the Clean Water Campaign. She also toured India to raise awareness for women's issues. The former actress has also worked with the UN Entity for Gender Equality and Empowerment of Women. Let me tell you that Meghan is a vocal feminist. Last year, Meghan volunteered with Harry in a private capacity to personally deliver foods to LA residents during the pandemic. It's worth mentioning that the food was prepared by Project Angel Food. In 2019, Meghan became the vice president of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust. In 2020, Meghan and her husband formed a charity organization called Archwell. It was registered in the US and its website was officially launched in October. Back in 2014, the former actress started her lifestyle blog called The Tig, in which she wrote about inspirational women, travel, beauty, fashion, and food. In 2018, she took all articles offline and also deleted all of her social media accounts. During the 2016 U.S. presidential election, she supported Hillary Clinton and publicly denounced Trump. Last year, the former actress also spoke in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. Back in the year 2004, she started dating a famous American film producer named Trevor Engelson. They got married in 2011. In 2013, the pair concluded a no-fault divorce. Later, she started dating a Canadian celebrity chef named Corey Vitiello. They broke up in 2016. In June 2016, the former actress started dating Prince Harry, who's a grandson of Queen Elizabeth II. The couple first appeared together in public in 2017 at the Invictus Games in Toronto. Their engagement was announced in November of that year, and she announced her retirement from acting. On May 19, 2018, she married Harry. Then in May 2019, the couple welcomed their son, who was named Archie Mountbatten Windsor. In July 2020, the former actress suffered a miscarriage. tabloids will destroy your life and I very naively I'm American we don't have that there what are you talking about that doesn't make any sense I'm not in tabloids she's the daughter of Doria Ragland and Thomas Markle senior her parents divorced when Megan was six years old and her father was a TV director of photography and lighting Megan used to visit her father's film sets during her childhood the former actress self-identifies as being mixed race 
She grew up in LA and went to Hollywood Little Red Schoolhouse. When Megan was 11 years old, she wrote a letter to Procter & Gamble to gender neutralize a dishwashing soap advertisement on national TV. Procter & Gamble changed the commercial after three months, and let me tell you that Megan was raised as a Protestant. She went to Immaculate Heart High School, and after graduation, she enrolled at Northwestern University in Evanston in 1999. At this university, the former actress joined Kappa Kappa Gamma Sorority. Later, she interned at the American Embassy in Buenos Aires. The former actress considered a political career, but Megan could not score enough in the Foreign Service Officer test. Eventually, she could not proceed further within the United States State Department, so she returned to NU. Then in 2003, she received her bachelor's degree from the School of Communication at Northwestern University. Megan started working as a freelance calligrapher and taught bookbinding to support herself during acting jobs. She said that she had some difficulty getting roles. Megan was first seen on screen in a small role in a soap opera called General Hospital. Over the next few years, she had a few small guest roles on TV shows, including CSI New York. The War at Home and Century City. Later, Megan did various contract acting as well as modeling jobs. She appeared as a briefcase girl on the American game show titled Deal or No Deal. Then she was seen in Fox's series titled Fringe. In 2010, the former actress appeared in three films, including The Candidate, Remember Me, and get him to the Greek. The next year, Megan joined the cast of the show titled Suits and continued appearing on the show until 2017. In 2011, she also appeared in the film titled Horrible Bosses. Megan has halted her acting career since she became a member of the royal family. After she got engaged to Harry, her first official public appearance with the royal family was in December 2017. She officially appeared as the Duchess of Sussex for the first time in May 2018. On March 31, 2020, Meghan, along with Harry, stepped down from her duties as a senior member of the British royal family. Last year, Meghan and her husband signed a deal with Netflix to launch a production company. Survive something, right? Like, that's not the point of life. You've got to thrive. You've got to feel happy. And I think I really tried to adopt this According to some estimates, Megan used to earn around $80,000 from endorsements and sponsorships on her social media accounts. In 2015 and 2016, she also launched two fashion collections with a Canadian clothing company called Reitman's. In 2017, Megan's salary from Suits was $50,000 per episode. In September 2020, Megan and her husband signed a mega deal with Netflix, through which the couple will launch a production company. According to some reports, this deal is worth as much as $150 million. For her role in the film titled Remember Me, she was paid $187,000. And in 2011, Megan earned $171,429 for appearing in the film titled The Candidate. The combined net worth of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry is $50 million. After she married Prince Harry, the pair lived at Nottingham Cottage and later moved to Frogmore Cottage in Windsor Castle's home park. Later, their office moved to Buckingham Palace, and on March 31, 2020, their office was officially closed. Prince Harry and Meghan spent some time in Canada as well as the United States before purchasing a house in Montecito in California in June 2020. The pair purchased this house for $14.7 million. Meghan Markle likely owns the following cars, a Jaguar E-Type, an Audi,
a vintage Rolls Royce. A Bentley. A Land Rover Discovery. <laughs> 